Hello everyone, Trent Hummel here with the Western Equipment Dealers Association Dealer Institute Training Consulting Division. Today we're going to talk about a strategy to move your salesmen to be advanced equipment marketers. Now we know that they're out calling on their territories or calling on key accounts, they're promoting your aftermarket department, they're demoing equipment, they're pushing uh, solutions or equipment solutions to their customers, they're selling themselves, they're selling the dealership, they are marketing themselves. But they're not, they can only do that to about 10, 9, 10 people a day at the most. How do we get them to market equipment? Because that's what we want to sell. How do we get them to market equipment to 100 plus people every day? Now, this is a strategy that I've used and I've had some great success with. I allow salesmen to load their trades on, own, on their own individual sites, uh, like Kijiji and Craigslist or Let Go or Facebook Marketplace. I let them load them as if they're their own items. Now what they do is they manage this. They're still, you still need to load it on your own site. You still need to manage your salesman. You need to know what they're loading. But the salesmen are still working their territory in the day. But in the evening, they'll just have a glance at what, what kind of action they're getting, what kind of views they're getting on their, uh, on their individual units that are loaded. And they'll, they'll know, oh, I need to adjust a photo or I need to adjust a description or I've got a couple of replies and they keep asking me about this part of the unit or that part. So I need to actually have a photo of that or I need to put a better word in the description. Maybe I need to put some trigger words in there. Maybe my hits are low, so this is uh, not working very well. Maybe I've got too high a price. I need to talk to my sales manager about this. They will discover which one of these variety of sites that they can use sells certain types of equipment. Now in this, there's some rules. We only allowed them to load their own trades. We, own, we allowed a few short lines, a few implements to be loaded and consumer and acreage type equipment. And that was it. Now if a salesman was lazy and he didn't want to load his trades, I would allow other salesmen to grab his trades and load them and try to market those. Now there's some pitfalls because what if salesman A loads a unit, but a customer and salesman B's territory phones on that unit? Is that a salesman B? sale or is it a salesman A? Do they do a split commission? Do they 60-40? 80-20? Um, has salesman B even called on that customer in the last year, in the last five years or ever? Those are discussions that need to happen at a sales meeting on how the sales team, when you present this, ask the sales team about how are we going to do this when we have one salesman selling a piece of equipment into another salesman's territory, how do you want to manage this? Um, let them come up with the solution. If they come up with the solution, and it maybe is only a temporary thing and maybe it's only a trial and error for a while until everybody gets the flow of it. But uh, if it's their idea, then it's not such a big fight on your hands. Now there's gonna be fees because some of these sites require a $10 fee to load a unit. I always told the salesman, just bring me the invoice and, and I'll pay it and I'll bill it to our accounting, to our advertising account. And I was never upset about this because maybe they'd bring me $50 at the end of the month, that was what the fee was, but it sold five pieces of equipment, and I've spent a lot more money that generated nothing compared to what these sites can generate. Now, when they get good, the guys that get good at this are gonna get so good at it, they're gonna look at a trade, and they're gonna say to the customer, you know, I wanna take a few photos, and I'm gonna post this online just to see if I can pre-sell the trade before you do the new deal. And they'll get that trade pre-sold, and they might put on the ad pending or coming in, but they'll have so much action on that unit, they know where they need to buy it at and they'll have a buyer for it lined up and then they'll do the new deal um, and get it gone, which is a win for the whole goods department not to have to carry this inventory. Now a big problem with this is the gap. The gap is gonna get wider from your great salesman to your average salesman because as the great ones embrace this and get going on it, they're gonna have used units that sell in 24 and 48 and 72 hours, they're gonna sell very quick. And this poor guy that's average is gonna sit in the room, sit in his office and say, I just want it to be the same. It was doing so well for me before, but it wasn't doing well for the dealership, but it was doing well for him. And he's not gonna move ahead and he might leave you and that's probably okay. The great salesman will get so much going on that you're not worried about this. It, it's so quick and so fast that They'll hit so many different markets that your website doesn't hit. You'll hit a whole different group of buyers that you've never even tapped into. And with that, let's go to work. Thank you very much and stay safe.